So these are uh, optical sensors, and um, there's 144 optical sensors per panel. Um, those work based off of uh, an object um, locking the, the sensors, uh, both from hands, body, feet, uh, kids doing snow angels, whatever it may be. Um, they respond incredibly fast in a speed of about 60 to 33 milliseconds. Um, and we also have as a support mode, which brings that to about two to four milliseconds in response time. So um, very fast, but also very easy to create content with the touch data. Um, it's simply an NDI feed that comes out of the Touch Controller Pro, and you can feed that into Touch Designer, or you can feed it into Notch, and then you quickly create really dynamic, engaging content for the customers. So it's very simple for any sort of a creative person that's using Notch or Touch Designer, or even other frameworks uh, like Open Frameworks, Unity, Unreal Engine to create interactive content. You want to think about how people interact with the floor, which is very different than a traditional touch screen, uh, where people you know, generally don't drag their feet across the floor. It's more of a touch element, or it's a an element where people are related to each other's position on the floor, and how that content interacts between those people or players or dancers or uh, people that play games on the floor, kids playing games. Um, that's really important when it comes to developing that content. Is it a visualizer? Is it a more of an experience where there's more, uh, maybe more, more technical mathematical uh, information available to us of the position of all the sensors? Of the combination of the base frame, uh, how the simplicity of the installation of the base frame, and then also installing the physical panels, um, and the content and the clarity of the VF2i makes it absolutely a perfect combination uh, for any uh, production team, uh, rental house, is looking to do some truly, truly interactive content uh, and engaging experiences for their customers.